So today it really seems like we're just chucking on loads of little bits and pieces that I've been sort of waiting to do for a little while. The rain's sort of coming down and hopefully stopping. I've been rolling around on the floor doing other bits and pieces and it's time to finally fit the new wing mirrors. As you can see here, I've got a Sparfax uh, sort of extended defender fitting wing mirror here that I saw from um, Panda the Landy. Lawrence actually uh, had these on his truck for a while, so I've got a hold of seven myself. You can sort of see here the difference. I'm going to do a proper comparison in a moment. I've got a new arm with it too, because this one's corroded and muddy and horrible. But I've just put this one together and it's looking really good. So now I'm going to take a look on the bench at the comparison between the two and also put this one together to show you. And then we'll go and have a look at chucking them on the truck in just a second. So here I have the old mirror, as you can see, definitely well used and um, yeah, very muddy. Just a cheap one, this one. Light, I haven't gone for the heated option on this one or that one. Um, corroded all around here and been painted by me using Hammerite and just very old and tired. It attaches behind the hinge, as you'll see here, uh, with two uh, screws that just go in there, sort of bolts with uh, Phillips heads. And it's just a simple sort of solution. Uh, so that's the current one that you get with all the fenders, and it's, this isn't the original, it's just probably a brick part one, I think it probably is. And here's a comparison with the new one. Look at that. So I actually haven't seen now in person, um, using the truck, if um, what sort of like field of view you have with this one. So that I'm not quite sure of, um, but you can definitely see the difference in like mirror size. And also there... Looking at my, let me just get a cloth for you. Yeah, it's raining outside, so I uh, just need to wipe <laughs> this one. And you can see my setup. Hello. There you can already see, let me look at the things there. You get a sort of a straightaway, a sort of wider field of view. Everything you're looking at sort of seems to be slightly wider. Maybe not slightly wider view, but you've got more glass there. So more of a sort of, hopefully more view. And actually, I quite like this actually, I think it's meant to be quite strong. They make them for lorries and bits and pieces. Sparfax is quite a well-known company. And usually what they do on here, I actually haven't looked at the instructions yet or um, have ever done this before. You take these two out here. I've got a new arm that came from Sparfax. I think it's probably just the same as the one I had. It seemed exactly the same, so maybe it's a brick part one. I'm not exactly sure, but you can get those on their site as well. And yeah, usually it sort of attaches to a rod that goes through, not a ball. And they ship this, Ooh, they ship this out with the arm and this, so you can convert it to go onto a Land Rover. Right, so let's take a look at this then. They look like stainless, which is good. I love stainless fixings. Uh, let's take that off and have a look. So, yeah, so it looks like that just clamps onto there and the rod would usually go through there. So now I'm sort of half take a punt of what all this does, which is probably not the best idea to do, and uh, have a proper little look at all this. So I'm guessing that sits on there like that, sort of tabs down, I would say, it looks like. <laughs> okay, right. Sorry, I'm back. That took a, just a minute or so. What you do, this has this piece and that goes into there and that stops, I guess, as much rain getting in the top because that sits on top there. And that still clamps on there. Not 100% sure if this is the right way around this goes. I think it probably is and it doesn't rock around too much. So I would say that is right. You'd sit, this is going to be the... Uh, passenger one so it's going to go that way around and then so I've actually discovered so I reckon you put this on first and uh, that goes on there then that slides down the cover stays off for now and then you chuck the bolts down through there right in the future I might put some Loctite on these once I know they're to the right cork settings and they sort of don't budge too much but um, this is definitely going to be better than the standard ones that you sort of can't adjust and rusts away. And I just find any time I sort of even go near any like foliage or anything, they just they just fold in and it's real annoying. And also just because I have a van, obviously a van sort of body style at the back on Boris, I can't see out of the rear back windows because I don't have any. So I don't have the blind spots. I'm hoping that this might give you a bit of a better view. So 
that's now on there, nice and loose at the moment. I guess I, what I could do is tighten it up fully when it's on the vehicle so I can sort of set it and then hopefully really clamp it down so it doesn't move too much. Because obviously you've got, uh, it's sprung in there so it can give, but I'm not sure if that's the right thing to do or not. All right, so that now I think should now like nicely, yes. Okay, that's the way around it goes. So you do that side first, then you click that cover on, clicks it really nicely and that's a really neat, Neat little package actually, it's really cool. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. It's nice that it's not being all corroded like the other one is, but probably will go one day, but you know, it's the way Land Rovers are. I just can't stop Boris from rusting, but this bit's not gonna be uh, rusty at all. This is a nice, nicely made, solid bit of kit. And uh, yeah, let's go and check it on. So I've already removed the hinge on this side. You don't actually have to take the hinge fully off from the bulkhead. Rusty bulkhead, as you see here, but I've got a snorkel this side. The other side was absolutely fine. This side, I've had to take the whole hinge off. This side's captive nuts here. You just use the Allen key to get that out. And this side is the same Allen key, but on the other side, behind the door card, which you can sort of just pry back, there's a 13 mil spanner that needs to go on the other side. And that's basically it. And once you get those off, I use my tool again on here, just to remove those two Phillips uh, screw heads, but it's actually bolts that bolt into the wing mirror. It's easy as that and it's just the same for the reverse but i'll show you the reverse in person that's how easy it is so i've put this one together now and i'm just going to line up these bolts onto the back of the wing mirror through the hinge there and as i said before you just don't 100 percent have to do this step <laughs> taking it off completely it's actually easier to do it on the truck you have less hands to go wrong everything like that but this is the way i'm having to do it because of a snorkel and i'm sure some people watching this have a snorkel let me uh, do that just to make sure that these come out again, if I ever need to, put some copper grease on the threads and uh, all over the back of the area where it's gonna to be touching the hinge. There you go, that's now on there. And um, if you get this on the wrong way around, you can just spin it around like I just said on the previous one. Uh, now it's time to chuck that on to the bulkhead and do it up. All right. So there you go, that's all on there now. Uh, what you need to do is just chuck the, if you've got it, the sort of rubber gasket back on there, plastic on this case. And these go back in here, these stainless, stainless, <laughs> stainless uh, bolts go back on there. I'm really glad they're stainless because they're one of the things that aren't rusting. As you can see, everything else is. The other side's even worse. That's why I chose to do it on this side. I've got a big hole here, but um, at least we've got some nice shiny new mirrors. <laughs> okay, there you go, that's through there. Um, now what it needs to do is find the nuts that are now lost down in the door card and chuck a span on the back of them and then use the allen key to do them up there and there. So the way I'm filming this is with my phone on a little tripod wrapped around a clamp for clamping wood that is attached to the door. So when you do this, you actually get a bit of a moving shot. <laughs> So there you go, that's that one on, looking really good. Just found out another little uh, piece of information I forgot to tell you before. They do that, as well as sort of adjusting with the ball joint any way you want, as you would on a normal mirror. It's also got that other feature. I just need to do these two up a little bit more, but that means that that can go up and down. So if you're towing, maybe you've got a trailer on the back, you can bring that one out. It spins on that axis, which is nice and stiff. and means you've got a few more inches here, probably about three or four more inches of uh, extra sort of view uh, you could use on the motorway or whatever you're doing if you're towing reversing so that's a great little feature that it has built in really like that i'm looking forward to sort of setting them up now for your view and also going and testing them out so just one thing i'm not sure i'll put this in the video but i've just finished everything about to pack away came in here to sort of set them up and i realized that they've actually got a pivot in the mirror so they don't actually have to pivot on the usual balls where the mirror would usually pivot on. So make sure you clamp those down nice and tight so that it doesn't move. And then you can use the pivot actually built into the mirror. Really good design and much better than the original. So many times I've said it's a 45 degree angle on my driveway. So trying to get up and down here, it's very tight as well. To do things like this is a, just a little bit difficult. Sharing a driveway as well is just a bit tight. So that's why I don't do many installs here, but I'm gonna start doing them again. I'm glad to have done this. You just saw me put them together with no instructions whatsoever, click together, and then just pop on here. All you have to do is remove half of the hinge, 
chuck them on. First impressions of just putting them on, holding them in my hand and seeing what they look like on the truck. Very happy. This is not a review because I haven't tried them yet. I'm gonna test them out later today. Gonna tune them up so I can sort of see properly out the window. And then in the future, I'll let you know if they're good or not. But I hope you enjoyed following along and uh, seeing how I do it. I did see some from Lauren, so I sort of copied him now. If you want them, you can copy me. Um, uh, yeah, head over to Spa Factor if you want some yourself and uh, see you next time.